Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a wonderful period we are in, this Easter period. I know God has determined to do great work in our lives. Hallelujah. I've been starting a series on um, Jesus Christ and what it means to us in this Easter period. There is one word I want to examine today. And that word is found in the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 50. And Jesus said unto him, Friend, therefore art thou come. Then came they, and lay hands on Jesus, and took him. I want to back up a little so that you have a proper understanding of this verse. From verse 47, the Bible says, and why he yet spake, that was Jesus speaking, Lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came with him, a great multitude with sword and stave, from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he, hold him fast. Verse 49, and forthwith, he came to Jesus and said, Hail, Master, and kiss him. And Jesus said unto him, Friend. 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 That word that Jesus said to the person that came to betray him. Instead of Jesus using his power to destroy Judas, he called Judas friend. Hallelujah. This is that period I want us to learn this great lesson from Jesus. He taught us to forgive. And that spirit of forgiveness is demonstrated in this particular place by Jesus. No one has any excuse to harbor unforgiveness. If you say you are a Christian, Jesus has set the standard. This person came to betray him. And Jesus was arrested and crucified. He knew the implication of what Judas did. But yet, he still said, friend to Judas. And that's the attitude that is expected of us towards our enemies. They may hate us, but we have to love in return. As far as we are concerned, our own portion is to love. That is what the Bible commands. They may hate you. They may plan evil. As you are loving them, the Lord God Almighty knows how to handle them. All over the places today we see some prayers that have been offered in churches against the enemies. Sometimes we ask them to fall and die. Sometimes we ask them to turn mad. We speak all manner of evil things towards our enemies. And we want Jesus to kill the people he came to die for. It doesn't work that way. He laid down his life for us. And it is not uh, for us to now ask him to kill. He won't answer that kind of prayers. And I want us to repent and begin to have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ is to see everyone as friend. That doesn't mean that Jesus did not understand what Judas had done. But he cleared his mind. I used to tell people, I have to forgive you because of myself. That forgiveness, that means, if I don't forgive you, if somebody offends me and I don't forgive and I have all grudges, it, it will destroy me. When I hear something good is happening to you, I won't be happy. Why should I discomfort me over and above the evil somebody has done to me again? And if you want to live a free life, a joyful life, we all must learn how to love our enemies. You forgive them and love them. That does not mean they will not be judged. Let's leave the judgment to God. See what happened to Judas. He hung himself. It was not Jesus that went to hang him or commanded his other disciples to hang him. Judas hung himself. But as far as Jesus is concerned, he saw Judas as friend. So today, as we begin to celebrate Easter, as we are entering into the, this season, I want us to have it in mind that forgiveness is the standard that Jesus laid down for us. As long as you are a follower of Jesus, we all must learn how to forgive. You forgive your enemies, leave vengeance to God. That's what the Bible recommends. And 
we must leave every satanic prayers. We usually pray in church. You don't come to church and ask God to kill somebody. No. If we will answer that kind of prayer, somebody must have prayed that he should kill us because at one time or the other, we ourselves are enemies of some other people. He was walking into the cross knowing the real pain ahead. But he looked at the person that the devil used to bring about that pain and he called him friend. Today, I pray that the spirit of the living God will descend mightily upon you and you have the ability to release everyone that have done you evil. It is in so doing, you will enjoy peace. Peace from above. And the Most High God will deal with your enemies. They can't escape judgment. But it is my prayer that a number of them will stay alive and well and see God lifting you up and see God transforming you. So I say it is well with you. The peace of God shall cocoon you all. In Jesus' name, happy celebration. God bless you.